Welcome to my channel friends. Today we will be discussing the part 4 of logistics management. So we will be covering the elements of customer service. We will be covering the pre-transaction elements of customer service, transaction elements, post-transaction elements and we will be also discussing about levels of customer service. Okay, so let's start off with the elements of customer service. So as I told you the, there are three major elements of customer service that is pre-transaction elements, transaction elements and post transaction elements. Now we will try to understand one by one. So in first we will discuss pre transaction elements. So what are the pre transaction elements that comes under the customer service. So first point is written policy statement. Second is customer receives policy statement. Third is organizational structure. Fourth is system flexibility. And fourth is technical and management services. Okay. So we will discuss one by one. First is written policy statement. So this document would define service standards related, related to a customer needs. A written statement of a customer policy of the firm should be given to the customer so that it would help him to know what to expect from the firm. It helps to safeguard against unreasonable expectations and demands from the customer. Also it should provide the customer information regarding how to respond if expected service levels are not provided by the firm. So what do you understand by this? A written policy statement. A written policy statement is nothing but like once you enroll for a service like for example you have enrolled for a insurance policy. So once you enroll for the insurance policy and you pay the amount so you will be getting a insurance policy agreement or a statement. In that agreement all the terms and conditions would be mentioned like uh, what, what is the term of the insurance and uh, what are the benefits that I am going to get and what if uh, what if the contract is break, uh, is broken everything all the details will be mentioned in that statement so it's really important that any service that you uh, enroll for the company should provide with a written policy statement to the customer why they should give a statement they should give a statement to ensure that the customer is aware about all the terms and conditions of the services that he is rendered to and in terms of a a breach of a contract what is the uh, what is the uh, next step that he should take everything will be mentioned in the return policy statement okay that is the first point okay second point is organizational structure organization structure should position the senior logistics executive at high level to have high visibility within the firm the structure should facilitate both internal and external communication of policies performance and corrective action as needed okay so this is one of the uh, uh, pre-transaction element that is called as organization structure. Organization structure is nothing but hierarchy. So what is the hierarchy of the organization? Like the hierarchy and uh, hierarchy is nothing but organization structure. No organization structure. Like how the different uh, people are placed in the organization. Maybe some uh, in the organization you can see starting from the CEOs like chief executive officer uh, will be at the highest level and under him like we can see different other officers like chief financial officers and other officers and the company will have a vice president and under the vice president you may see assistant vice president and under the assistant vice president you can see general managers assistant general managers assistant managers and managers and officers so it goes like this like a different level what is the level of hierarchy so the customers should be made aware about the organizational structure so that in terms uh, 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 at a time of a, a breach of a contract or at a time of emergency the customer should know whom to contact which level officer that he should contact at, at that time okay next is system flexibility the system should have flexibility and contingency plans built into so that it can successfully respond to unforeseen events such as strikes shortage of materials and natural calamities okay so this is another point system flexibility the system has to be very flexible so that if there is any unforeseen events such as strikes shortages materials and natural calamities it has to abide by that so that is called a system flexibility next is technical and management services the firm should be able to provide technical services such as installation testing commissioning and training to the customer also the firm should provide customers with the help of merchandising inventory management and ordering that is management services these services may be provided either free charge or fee based okay so uh, there are certain products that if we buy we expect a level of technical and management services like not every product if we buy we cannot install by ourselves for example you can take the example of a generator because i have i have purchased a generator for my building it's a big generator 
so uh, I, i don't know how to operate this generator so definitely i'm expecting that somebody from this company will come and give me a training or uh, help me to install this uh, generator so that i am aware on how to use it so that is mean by technical and management services okay now let's understand what are the transaction elements that comes under the customer service first is the stock out level second is order information elements of order cycle expediting shipments transshipment system accuracy order conveniences product substitution yeah this is a transaction element let's discuss one by one first is stock out level stock out level when stock out occurs the firm should offer substitute to the customer or the item from another location as i discussed earlier the market is highly competent so uh, we need to make sure that if the if, if a customer have ordered a product and is it is out of stock we need to make sure that we provide the customer with a substitute otherwise the customer will go to another competitor okay that is the first point we discussed is stock out level okay next is order information availability customer must be provided access to type of information they need related to their order this include information on inventory status expected or actual shipping dates as i told you once you make an order once you make an order as a customer we expect that we are provided with in enough information about our order like what is the order and when the order will be delivered everything the customer should be provided okay so that is meant by order information availability third point is elements of order cycle the order cycle is the total time from the customer initiation of the order through the receipt of the product or service by the customer elements of order cycle includes placing the order order entry and order processing order picking and packing for shipping transit time and the actual delivery process customer tend to be more concerned about the consistency of delivery lead time rather than with the absolute lead time in today's time based competition reducing lead time has received greater attention so here we are talking about elements of order cycle like what is a lead time lead time is the time from the customer places an order until he receives the order that is a lead time so that is also important at the same time customer expect that there is a consistency in delivery he expect that his order is delivered on time not only for the couple of uh, couple of time for the initial times he is expecting that the consistency is maintained throughout the delivery okay so that is a point being discussed here next is expediting shipments some orders which cannot be managed through the normal delivery system require special handling these items may have special shipping requirements or may have to expedited expedited is nothing but it is making an action happen sooner or more quickly to meet the delivery schedule of the customer the cost of such shipments are considerably higher than the standard shipment but the cost of a lost customer should be still higher okay here we are uh, here we are explaining with the help of a like uh, if a customer customer is ordering if the customer is making an order he expect that he uh, delivers the product on time so uh, i can i can tell you a simple example like uh, there are two kinds of uh, post that we can send to international destination so if if you are if we are relying on indian post they do have a normal delivery in which they we can send the statement through normal route but if we want to send Uh, the shipment in a much faster way then they have something called as speed post okay so that is a different that's called as expediting shipment so so some customers would require the good at a much uh, uh, much faster rate for such customers you need to increase the speed by using such kind of services so that is uh, mean, that is meant by the word expediting shipments okay transshipment transshipment this involves shipping products between various distribution location to avoid stock outs and transshipment or transshipment is a shipment of goods or containers to an intermediate destination then to another destination and one possible reason for transshipment is to change the means of trans transport so transshipment is nothing but when when you want to change the mode of transportation then uh, that is called as transshipment or if we are using an intermediary also for example we are uh, transporting a good from country a to country c with the help of a intermediary country which is b so that is also called as transshipment okay next is system accuracy system accuracy customers expect a variety of data to be made available by the firm quickly and also the information they receive about order status and stock levels to be accurate this this point we have already discussed like uh, the customer has to be made aware regarding the details of his order so that is mean by system accuracy okay next is order convenience it refers to how easy it is for a customer to place an order 
and order related problems such as confusing formats, non-standard terms or long waiting time on hold etc cause dissatisfaction to the customer. So here we are talking about how user friendly is your system. For example, if you are making an order in Amazon, how user friendly is Amazon for you? If, if the Amazon is having a very confused format on making the orders, then Amazon will not have uh, this number of orders. Since the Amazon have created such a user friendly software where customers can uh, log into their system, uh, they can visit their website and they can make order in a very easy way. So that, that is the attraction of Amazon. So order convenience is really important that how companies design their order system. Okay. Next is product substitution. When the product ordered by the customer is not available, it has to be replaced by a different size of the same item or a different product which will perform just as well as be better. So we have already discussed this. Once a customer makes your order, if you don't have uh, the stock of the same item, you will have to substitute uh, uh, substitute the customer with another product otherwise the customer will be going to the competitor okay now let's see what are the post transaction elements post transaction elements uh, the first point is installation warranty alteration repairs and service parts so uh, as you know the market is really competent so uh, if you have a product if you if you if you have a product which is very popular in the market and there is a huge demand for the product so uh, it, it's also really important that how the service is being managed. So once the customer buys the product, the customer also expect that he will he he will he will get a very good service after sale service. That's what he's expecting. So the company should make sure that even though they have a good product, their service 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 circle should be excellent. Then only they can survive in the market. At the same time, they should also provide excellent service regarding repairs and service parts. That's also really important. So that is being the point discussed here is post transaction element. Okay. Next is product packaging. Product packaging is nothing but a different environment re requires different kinds of packaging, product packaging. So that is the second point is product packaging and product tracking. We have already discussed it like uh, from making the order until, until the product reaches the customer, the customer need to have the track of the order. So that that's a part of the customer satisfaction. So once the customer is having a proper track of his order, he is a satisfied customer and he can give very good references about the about our product to others. Okay, customer claims, complaints and return. It's a very important role in uh, plays a very important role in customer satisfaction. Because how the customer claims and complaints are handled because I bought a product, I bought a product from a company and I'm not satisfied. So the first thing which I'm going to do is like if they have got a telephone uh, operator, if they've got a telephone line or, uh, where I can report the complaint, then it's fine. Then immediately I can call the telephone uh, line and I can report the complaint or else the second option which I would uh, look is I can send an email. I can send an email to the company mentioning that I have bought a product, uh, bought a product from your company, but I'm not satisfied. So you need to do look into it and you can need to replace the product. So how the each and every complaint is uh, considered by the company the company should uh, company should take each and every complaint in a very serious manner and solve it uh, within within a short time so that the customer satis customer satisfaction is not lost because if, if the complaints are not met on time the customer become a dissatisfied customer and he will, uh, he will start talking bad about your company to others okay which is going to affect the sale so that is a very important uh, role in customer service that is customer claims complaints and return okay last is temporary replacement of products okay it's a very important point temporary replacement of product so uh, certain companies have a policy like if you purchase any product from the company and once you receive the company you find out that the product is damaged so immediately you you will call the call center and you'll report that uh, you have received a damaged product so certain companies what they do is what they they will immediately send you a new product they will immediately send you a new product and then only they will collect the damaged product from you so that is a uh, that is a technique certain companies use in order to maintain a very good customer satisfaction level okay so these are the major transaction elements like we have discussed uh, the transaction elements in customer service, pre-transaction elements and post-transaction elements. Okay. So hope you enjoyed the video. So if you like the video, please like my video and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for your time.